Good evening on this Mother's Day. Welcome back to Valley News Live at 10 and managed to capture quite a beautiful tower cam time lapse sunset in Grand Forks, courtesy of our home of economy camera. And I managed to time it just right where the sun set right in between the flags in the foreground. Right now in or excuse me, the high temperatures across the region today were mostly in the 50s, lower 50s up across northern Minnesota, 51 in Baudette, 52 in Waskish, 33 Bemidji, or 53 rather, 58 in Grand Forks. We warmed to 61 here in Fargo, Fergus Falls, and in Gwinter, 60 was the high temperature in Jamestown on this Mother's Day. Right now in Fargo, we are at 49 degrees with some gradually clearing skies over in Moorhead currently at 50 and a bit of a breeze out of the northeast at 15 miles per hour, bringing our feels like temperature or that wind chill down into the lower 40s. But many of us seeing 40s across the board still at 50 in Wapaton. Meanwhile, it's 39 already in Faustin, so we are setting up for another chilly night. We still do have some cloud cover along and mostly south of I-94 on the Minnesota side, but clear skies up across the northern valley in much of northern Minnesota as well. Here in Fargo tonight, once those clouds completely clear, we're in for a chilly one. Temperature dipping to around 30 degrees by tomorrow morning. So if you have those plants out or you have the flowers, be sure to cover them up or bring them in again for tonight. And very similar thing in Grand Forks as well. Even cooler though, we're looking at upper 20s by the time we're waking up tomorrow morning. A few passing clouds through the overnight period, but generally seeing a clearing trend. And I expect some of the chilliest temperatures again across the northern valley and eastern North Dakota with those lower 30s. Potential for a few more clouds to hang out across Lakes Country, keeping us just a couple of degrees warmer. But that sets us up for a sunny start to the week. By the lunchtime hour, mostly clear skies, not a lot of wind. You see those wind arrows are nearly non-existent, just a few across the southern valley. Temperatures mostly in the 40s and 50s by lunchtime, and we really only top off in the 50s. So another cool day as high pressure moves in, but that is what's also keeping us on the sunny side. A snapshot of your hometown forecast tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, temperatures in the 50s for most of us, potentially near 60 across the southern half of the valley. We have had two well above average warm days over the last two weeks. May 1st here in Fargo, 86 degrees. May 2nd was 78 degrees. And now we've been pretty much in the 50s to near 60s ever since then. But I do have some good news. We're going to warm back above average at least a couple days in the seven day forecast. But before we get to that, another sign of spring, some crab apple blossoms. A beautiful sight this time of year. Thank you so much to Elizabeth for taking the time to upload this photo to valleynewslive.com. Now for that seven day forecast, lots of sunshine over the next couple days, mid 60s by Tuesday, 67 Wednesday. The average high temperature in Fargo today is 66. The breeze picks up a little bit Wednesday and into Thursday, isolated showers late Thursday. But Nishay, look at these temperatures warming up into the 70s Thursday through Sunday. But we also turn a little bit more showery. The best chance for more widespread rain looking like next Sunday. Well, we like the good news, so keep it coming, Summer. I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, thank you so much.